Hey everybody, in today's Sonic Pi lesson, uh, we are going to look at something called a ring chain, which is something we can add on to a ring uh, so that we can change the pattern of notes or manipulate a little bit or mess around with the numbers that are already in the ring to just give us different patterns of notes without having to rewrite the ring uh, and just play around with what we already have to create some new patterns uh, that we have. All right, so just uh, to remind us here, we have a ring, which is in parentheses, we write ring, and then we are going to write uh, some numbers that go with it. So for example, I'll do like 50, 53, 57, Actually, maybe I'll go 57, then 53. I'll show you why I'm gonna do that in a little bit. Um, and then maybe like 60, 62, 63, is that what I'm trying to do here? Oh, 62, I'm just thinking in my head, 64, 65, and then maybe one more I will do um, 67. Okay, so I have a ring here, all right? So um, first thing I'm gonna show you how to do is I can make a variable, uh, I'm just gonna call it R, okay? And now my whole ring is equal to this variable. So if I write R, okay, I'm gonna also show you something called puts here now. So puts is not uh, anything that's gonna change the sound or add sound to what we are doing. Puts is actually going to put some information here in the console log. And this is going to be important, especially for this lesson. It helps us see uh, what's happening in our code or what certain things are so that we can uh, understand our program better. So I'm going to write puts r, okay? So I have this ring. I made a variable r equals this ring. So now if I puts r, it shows me that ring, okay? So uh, just so we can see here, so in now this variable equals uh, this ring of numbers. So if we remember how a ring works, uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to do like eight dot times do, then end, okay, and play. Again, I could just take this ring, I'll come back to that variable in a minute, and with a dot tick, so, and then a sweep for 0 0.5. So if you remember dot tick, if I have eight things in my ring, I can do eight times and it will go through each one. So if I run this, okay, so there you have uh, my ring. So now just to show you, I can, instead of putting that whole ring there, I can put R and then it will go. Right, so now instead of me having to have this whole ring, I can have R. And again, if I want to do like 16 times, a ring will, when it gets to the end, go back around. All right, so that's just a quick review of the ring. Now, I'm going to go to the help window for a second. All right, so if you haven't checked out the help window yet, there's these great tutorials. It goes through a lot of stuff. Some of it we've already talked about, synth options, uh, samples is something we'll talk about later, blocks, okay, so like the dot times do blocks. We have, um, there's little variables we've talked about. Uh, okay, so there's lots of different things going on here. What I'm gonna do, okay, scales we've talked about, lists we've talked about, you can go through and look at some other stuff as well, but I'm gonna basically be doing everything right from this uh, 8.5, this data structure tutorial and ring chains here, okay? So what ring chains are, are basically something we can add to the end. So tick is kind of like a ring chain in that it moves us through. We've also looked at choose, uh, which is uh, another way to do ring chain. But there's lots of different chains that we can add to our ring to make it do different things. So let's look at this one here, reverse, all right? So I'm gonna go into back to this and I'm going to write reverse. Okay. Now, before I do that, I'm going to write puts r dot reverse so we can see how it works. I'm just going to comment this out. So now if I play it, okay, it gives me this, it gives me the reverse order of the ring that I had. Okay. So remember r was equal to what was in my ring, but now when I do r dot reverse, it gives me 67, 65, 64, it goes in reverse order. So if I were to play our reverse, and I'll just do it eight times here. Ooh. So important. 
important distinction we need to make here, okay? It played all the notes together in reverse, all right? So this is an important thing we need to remember is that I still need to add dot tick at the end. So it's R dot reverse dot tick if I do this. Okay, so very important we remember to add dot tick as we use all these other methods, okay? Or ring chains, all right? So I have that one. Now let me go through shuffle. Let's try that, all right? So if I do, instead of reverse, I do shuffle, okay? So again, I'm just gonna sort of do the puts on each one here. So now it gives me 57, 55, 65, 60, 64, 67, all right? So it gives me a shuffled version. So it took all the notes and just put them in a random order. Now note, this is not like dot choose because it just, shuffled all the numbers. It didn't choose them at random because we don't see any doubles here. So I could do shuffle now instead of reverse and listen. All right, so now it plays the shuffled version of that. Okay, going back to the health, I could do sort. So it puts a sorted and it tells you what to do here. All right, so a sorted version. Um, so if I were to do Sorted, I believe that's what it was. Sort, just sort, okay, and I do that. Now you see it gives them in numerical order, so from the lowest value to the highest value, because here you'll note I went 50, then 57, then 53, so when it sorts, it puts them all in order. So I can do sort here. All right, um, so now there are some other ones here. Some of them are pick and drop, which means you can like take out certain numbers. You can add, uh, take like the first number, the second, let's try maybe uh, take five, okay? So if I do this one, and I'm just kind of copying and pasting here and seeing what happens, okay? So R dot take five, let's see what happens there. Okay, so in this one, it takes the whatever number you put here, it just took the first five ones and left out the rest, okay? And if I were to do like take three, it just has the first three values there, okay? So that one, I'm not gonna run, but just to give you an example, here's some I like. Uh, for example, stretch. Okay, so this repeats each element in the ring twice. So what does this mean? Let's try it, stretch. What doesn't it like? Puts are given. Oh, so it needs that. So it says zero expected one arguments. That means these parentheses here. So I need to make sure I have that. So let's try with the two. Okay, so here it doubles the number uh, of notes each time. So let's see what happens if I put three. So three, it also then doubles the number of notes, okay? But then if I go and I wanna hear everything in that, keep in mind if I had eight originally, I would need to multiply that by three to hear them all. So I do 24 and let me do stretch. Oh, again, I keep forgetting this. So I could do that. There are, I could do, I think reverse is one. Oh, we did reverse. So mirror, for example, let's try mirror, okay? All right, so if I did mirror, that is going to give me sort of the, there's my run, but then it gives me forwards and then backwards, okay? So again, if I wanna run that, I gotta keep in mind that however many I have, I need to do that as well. Okay, so that there are lots of them that you can kind of play around with, okay? So I could do that, but then I could also, you can do doubling of them or tripling even, okay? So say I did a mirror, but then I wanted to shuffle that mirror, okay? so dot 
shuffle as well. So now you see it sort of takes that mirror, but it puts them in a different order, okay? So then I would run that. Okay, so that you can combine them as well. So you could look at maybe do sort and then take the last 10 of the ones you sorted, or you can really play around with a lot of different ones, okay? So for this assignment, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a few different ones, okay? So maybe one you're gonna have mirror, and then one you're gonna have sort, and then one I'm gonna have take uh, seven, okay? And then one, you know, you're gonna do doubling up, one you're gonna have shuffle, Okay, so I want to see you have at least four different ones as well as a couple that maybe you have like mirror and then shuffle, maybe one I do reverse, okay, all like that. Now one last thing I want to show you here is that you can also do scales. So if you remember uh, when we did the last lesson, I could do a scale, so like play scale, I give it a number to start with and then I give it a... Uh, I choose one of these drop-down scales. So maybe I will choose this uh, Ionian one, okay? So a scale is just like a ring, okay? So what I could do here is I could then do dot shuffle. Well, let's listen to what this sounds like just by itself, first of all, just ticking through. But then I could do dot shuffle. gives me a shuffled version, okay? I could do maybe take four, okay? So there it just took the first four notes and since I'm doing it eight times, it repeated it, okay? So that is how ring chains work and I can use them with scales as well, all right? So that is the assignment for the week. So uh, I basically just copy and pasted most of what uh, this tutorial says. So you have a a sort of a hard copy but I also just kind of rewrote what everything means in case you don't quite understand the language so like what does it mean when it says return a new ring with the last six elements if I go to take last here it just says removes everything but the last six numbers so just a way to sort of uh, give you a simpler explanation for that okay and then the checklist like I said I want you to use at least four different rings so each one should be a separate ring I want to see you use at least two ring chains on the same ring Okay, so that would be, uh, just to uh, go back very quickly here, and there we go. So like this would be an example of two ring chains used together, and then use the ring chain on a scale as well. So just to sort of very quickly, so like I did here with the shuffle, okay? So you should have like five or six different rings that use all these different ring chains for your assignment. And again, this is for the music engagement assignment. So when you have done that, you can submit your code into that submission document for the week, all right? Uh, always email me with any questions. Uh, if you do have questions, always helps to just include the code that maybe you're having problem with. Just copy and paste it uh, in the email or the comment. And I'm looking forward to see what you do.